This office is in charge of overseeing the reconstruction of US 290, which is 38 mile stretch of the US 290 corridor. We're doing a complete reconstruction and widening of the roadway and added auxiliary lanes and direct connectors throughout the corridor. As part of the development of this project, we received a lot of concerns from the public about increased noise with a lot of people requesting that we overlay the project. In order to provide noise mitigation for the project, we're already planning and implementing sound walls, but we really were hesitating on doing an overlay of the entire project due to the cost and the continued cost over the years of maintaining the asphalt pavement. So it was decided to try to mitigate some of the noise by doing a longitudinal grooving process that would slightly reduce the noise level. And we were made aware of a new process called next generation grinding and grooving that would further reduce the noise. So as a result of that, we were doing some research to determine the overall benefits once we've done that. So we had a contract with uh, uh, Dr. Joe Weissman, UTSA, the maintenance division is doing a lot of the testing for uh, ride quality, the noise, uh, texture, and, uh, and Dr. Weissman is would be preparing a report. But there's several parts to this. They'll do that initial testing and we've got some initial results, but they also will, will also monitor it over the next few years and test it again because we just want to see whether there is a decrease in the improvements over time after traffic's been on the pavement. But initially, those tests have been very exciting, some of the results we're getting because the noise reduction has been everything we were hoping for, uh, anywhere from five and a half to six decibels, which is a considerable reduction. Five and a half to six decibel reduction is like a 75% reduction in traffic to equal that, that same decibel level. Plus, the skid and ride quality have improved immensely over the existing, which we expect even with our normal pavement, but we want to make sure we maintain that with the next generation. We've also got a lot of calls from the public and, uh, and from our own people who are wondering what we're doing out there because they notice the, the noise reduction and even that small area that we've already done.